Where do you want to land? In a sugar cane field? I don't want to land in the Nile. That's all I have to say. Please don't drop anything. If I drop this, our entire YouTube, our entire YouTube life is done. Uh oh. I think we're gonna crash. Yeah, I think it's gonna be American. It's gonna be an American landing. We are so close. We are so close. We are so close. No, no, no. We're about to break all of our own safety rules here in Egypt. We want to do this so bad that we're going to get in a random car with a random stranger in the middle of the night, just the morning. Here in Egypt, it's about 4.15 in the morning. There's a there. Yeah, there are some people out there doing some random things too. I don't know who they are or what they're doing, but what we're going to do is going to be amazing if we don't get kidnapped and die. What the hails are we doing at 4.30 in the morning? 4.30 a.m. here at yeah. Luxor, Egypt. We <laughs> are going to... Yeah. There it goes. There it goes again. We're going to get on a motorboat and cross the Nile from the east bank to the west bank. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to share with you what we're going to do next. And apparently that's the alarm to let us know it's time to cross the Nile in a boat. Professional camera workers. Look at that. I love America. This is professionals. Wow. Wow, we need them, huh, baby? I wish you happy here. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. This is where we're headed. We're headed out on one of these boats across over to the mountainside. When you get on the boats, they have coffee, tea, snacks. What do you think? 4.30 in the morning? I'm definitely gonna help myself to yeah. some coffee and milk. They don't yeah. use cream right here, they use milk. No, they don't. They do use pure sugar cane. Where'd our guy go? We have no clue where we're headed. Queen Nefertiti. Yes. How does it feel to be on the Nile? Are you in denial? I am in denial but and I just believe until we actually get to our final destination. Is this, is, is this crazy? Is this the craziest thing we've ever done? For me, yes. I took you, For you, no. I took you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feet under the ground in a cave in the Devil's Pinch and this is the craziest? <laughs> this is one of many crazy adventures with you. <laughs> and many more to come. <laughs> very, very, very sleepy. Are you awake? Yeah, I'm wide awake. Okay, Susanna. Here we go. It's a beautiful oh, night, morning, for a moonlit ride in a boat over the Nile. This is the night, such a beautiful night. Is this romantic? Very romantic. How, do I, how am I doing the second day after Valentine's? Very, very good, my friend. Very oh, wait. Good. You booked this, not me. <laughs> We're finding out they do the same thing with boats on the Nile. They honk at each other like crazy. We are going on a hot air balloon ride. And we're in the first one. We go in this first balloon. Wow. This is Gabriel, our guide. George, George, Are George, you very George. Much excited? I'm very much excited. This be fantastic, fantastic. Wow! Look at it all. First balloon. I didn't realize this, but you can fit 14 passengers on one. 14. Yeah. We're going to be going over the mountains, over the temples, and over the Nile. Look at this. That's how big a basket is. A basket will hold 14 people. 14 people. Look at that. And the balloon, boom. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, it's time to go. Where'd Gabriel go? Okay, Gabriel's telling us to get in now. Oh, you can feel the heat. You can feel the heat. Wow. Wow, okay, Gabriel's saying get in, get in, get in. Okay, he's putting us in.
How do you feel, George? Uh, I feel crammed. Yeah. We're in a portion of the basket with two other people. We've got an entire ground crew. And we're looking straight up into... There's my man, Gabriel. Baby. We got a safety briefing beforehand. There's an American landing, which is a rough landing, he says. And there's the Egyptian landing, which is the soft landing. Wow. There goes the balloon. There goes the balloon. This is the only place in Luxor, or the only place in Egypt where you can go on balloon ride. We, we good to go? Yeah. Morning. Good morning. Salam. You ready, George? We're so ready. This is gonna be. Remember, no Thank you. Remember, no jumping out, no passing out like Conky. I'll try not to. Our balloon is hovering off of the ground. Another one is taking off. Remember, with hot air balloons, you, you can't you can't drive them wherever the wind takes you. We could land in the Nile. Where do you want to land? In a sugar cane field? I don't want to land in the Nile. That's all I have to say. I was thinking it would be kind of fun. No. I don't know how to swim. You only know how to doggy paddle. The truck over here is actually the only thing. Oh, thank you, Gabriel. All, the best to all of you. Okay? My I angel. <laughs> no, we'll see you in the Nile. No. Yeah, oh, okay, no, no Nile, no Nile. We never do that. We never we'll land in the Nile. Nile. We'll see you on the middle of the sugar cane field. Sugar cane field. Yes. Yes. It would be nice. So that would we'll some sugar cane. Yes, please. <laughs> the truck is actually, right. the truck is holding us down right now, and the entire crew is holding us down as they prep more balloons. Wow, oh, there's one, two, three balloons. I, How do you feel? I bummed it up and I layered up because it's gonna be cold up here, but well, it's gonna be cold the flames right. of the hot air balloon will keep me toasty. Well, once we get up to 15,000 feet, there will be no more flames, we have to land. You're only allowed to fly in Egypt from 5.30 to 8 a.m. in the morning. Those are the only times you can actually fly. Any balloons that you see up in the air past 8 a.m., it's because they were given permission prior to 8 a.m. And then they have to come down to land. You're at the mercy of the air. You're at the mercy of the wind. <laughs> Woo, that's hot. Uh, George? Yes? George. Hear me? We're flying. We're flying, George. There's our pilot. George, we're definitely flying. Oh, wow. There's our pilot. These are the sugar cane fields right off of the Nile. Wow. You getting scared of heights yet? No. All right, well, I'm right on the edge. You're smack in the middle, so I'm kind of freaking out a little safe. bit. I feel safe. Look at this. I hope I don't drop the phone. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that'd but be it's bad. It's a good thing you brought the, the, the thing of a jiggy. The thing So all of this green that we see here, we're on the west of the Nile. That's that sugarcane fields and farming. And then you see the line where the desert starts. Holy cow, I'm getting. I don't know, but I know I'm getting uh, scared of heights. Oh. Don't look down. Oh, don't look down. Okay. What's your advice again? Do not look down. Just look straight ahead. Straight ahead. Don't yeah. look down. Okay. I'm looking for the sun. Okay. I'm just looking straight ahead. We're going to be flying over all of the tombs and temples. There's Queen Ketchup Suits Temple. Look at this. We're over this balloon now. This is Where's George. The temple of 
the lady who couldn't wait to be king. If we weren't engaged yet, I'd do it right now. <laughs> There's not much kneeling room in this mess. Yeah, no, there's no. There's 14 people in here. 14 people. We're going to be over all of... Holy cow. i got to stop looking down. Please don't drop anything. If I drop this, our entire YouTube... Our entire YouTube life is done. You can see the desert. And you can see the sugar cane. It doesn't rain here in Egypt often, especially down here in Luxor. All of the green is, is they're actually channeling water from the Nile. That is correct. The flames are off right now. But trust me, there's something still hot in here. It's getting hot in her. It's getting hot in here. Let's take a selfie. Take a selfie. I'm scared to even move right now with all these people. This basket is huge. The pile is spitting out all kinds of info. But the nice thing is we're on the edge. Yeah. Literally on the edge. Like George's hand is on the edge. There's all the um There's more people down there's yeah. more people down there walking like Egyptian. Yeah, they are. We're flying like Egyptians right now. We are. This is just, wow. You can actually see the Nile right through here. I definitely do not have my air legs yet. That balloon's higher than us. Again, the only place in Egypt you can actually fly is right here in Luxor. This is wild. We are at complete and total mercy of the wind. We're at complete and total mercy of whatever happens here in the air. You can see all the ancient ruins here. Here, here, and here. You can see the tunnels and the holes all in the mountainside. You can see the ruins and the tunnels and the hole all in the mountainside. All through here. 110 boys and girls. Okay, so now this is the... We've heard Ramses the second had 200 kids. This morning we heard 160 kids. And now he just told us 110. You know what? Now I know why you're not good at math. It's an Egyptian thing. It runs in the nationality. A lot of boring math later. See all the balloons lining up here. We got on the first round. There are those that are higher than us. We're a little bit higher than these guys here. Just look straight down. The fruitfulness of the Nile, the death of the desert right here. You're looking at it. That is Egypt in a nutshell. The Nile equals life. We continue to share that. The Nile is the only reason why the, the nation of Egypt existed ever. Because there was life because of the water of the Nile. Other than that, 95% of the country, of the nation, is all desert. Everything beyond those mountains are desert. This is what's considered the Grand Canyon of Egypt and we're floating above it right now all the greenery that you see it's all farmland so sugar cane. if we land in a sugarcane field do you want to try some pure I raw sugarcane yes okay and George George wanted me to bring yeah some. George George begged us to bring him some sugarcane holy cow look how high they are they must be lighter they didn't know they were gonna have fat American on this one I think they might land on each other. Look at that. The balloon's going to land on the other balloon. Nope, nope. They're going to miss each other. All sugarcane fields and farming out here. And then, look here. This is another small mountain range right in through here. Goes all the way around through here. Obviously, the Nile cutting and carving out 
past those areas. You see the There's ancient ruin structures. There's the King Tut. We saw Tut yesterday. We're getting closer and closer to the monuments. Look at these guys here. How do you think, feel? Oh, that one's the highest one up. How do you feel right now? I feel okay. I thought I would get motion sickness a little bit, but I'm okay. I have to How stop. How are you feeling? I have to stop looking down. I'm scared yeah, of heights. Yeah, stop looking down. Just look straight ahead. I'm scared of heights. I used to build high adventure elements, ropes courses. That's first. Uh, I built a, a foofy slide or a zip line in South Africa, and it went over a pond, and... What, I, what I've learned is it takes me a couple hours to acclimate to not being scared so until I feel comfortable. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely do not have my height slings right now. That's where my whole term, you know how I say fear farts all the time? Yeah. Yeah, that's where the term fear, fear farts, farts came real. from. There are a hundred percent, yes, are your knees yes, yes, right now? yes. Are you going to pass out on me? Like honky? Yeah. Yeah, of course I am. Are you wearing your adult diapers? How many adult diapers are you wearing right now? Jerry? Seven. Seven? I don't in case, think that's in enough. In case it's an American landing. You should have wore eight. Probably. Look at all these balloons. The absolute beauty. The beauty of it all. Oh, look at that beauty right there. Hello. <laughs> Oh, stop it. Oh, Fly here often? <laughs> Would you like to? <laughs> wow. Okay. This is what's called the West Bank. Look at the ruins. Look at the ruins. This is where the workers... The workers were working on the Valley of the Kings. The workers all lived inside the mountainside here as they worked on things such as the tombs of all of the kings. And then we also had Queen Ketchupsut build the first and the only temple in a limestone mountain. Looks like a castle over there. That's a Fordolan Egyptologist house. This is just amazing. Would you look at that? Babe, look at all the workers' homes. If you would we have been here yesterday, but we didn't get to see it. We from didn't see this it from view. above this view. If you were born just, I don't know, four thousand years earlier, I would have been living this. This, life. this would have been your life. This would have been your life. Which one of those, uh, which one of those condos would you have picked? You want to pick one? The one with no neighbors. Um, pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> You know, it looks like this one has two toilets side by side. Maybe you should pick that one. It has two All toilets right, side I'm gonna by side. I'm going to go with that one then. You, gotta, you know what? I'm glad you weren't born in Egypt. <laughs> we would have never met we would have if never I was met. born in Egypt. I'm glad you were born when you were born. Dude, my only regret is that we, we didn't meet sooner. So I could have loved you longer. Aww, I feel the same way. We've got good winds today off of the Nile, pushing us into the west, which is pushing everybody right over the ancient ruins. You can see it everywhere. This is Queen, how do you say her name? Who? Queen Ketchup Soup, how do you say her name? Ketchup Soup. Ketchup Soup. Ketchup Soup's temple is right here. <laughs> The queen who fooled an entire nation to thinking that she was a king. And they didn't complain because oh, be you're still saying this. <laughs> that was her theme song back in the day. Worth getting up at 3.30 in the morning to get picked up at 4.30. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Now you like it. You, you weren't feeling that way this morning when the alarm went off 500 oh, no. times. When I snoozed for like half yeah. hour. Wow, I'm so scared of actually dropping the camera right now. 
whatever you do, you know, don't drop the soap and don't drop the camera. I've heard, I've heard that's good, very sound advice. More in the aspect of um, if you're visiting Sodom and Gomorrah, then don't drop the soap. <laughs> but that could be true here in Luxor as well. Wow. Look at it. Just the beauty. The mercy of the winds. Look how they light up. Like f Look at them light up as they flame. Remember, the hot air only takes you up. And then, no hot air. The air cools and takes you down. But you're at the complete and total mercy of whatever the weather and whatever the winds are. We're going to go wherever the wind blows. Look at all of this. All these ruins, we're all above them right now. told that this this here built here this is one of the local Egyptologists home as they're as you see here they're still excavating and on a daily basis still finding more things more tombs the sunrise will be from other how do you sides. feel but here everybody you see the color for the sky we're gonna get to see the sunrise over the Nile. Hopefully, the mountain's in the way right now. The what? The mountain is in the way of the sunrise. How can a mountain be in the way, babe? The mountain's gonna. I want to watch it come up. The, you will watch it come over the mountain. <laughs> There's a stray dog. The stray dogs are coming out. Here's the first tourist at 6:30 in the morning. Look at this. 6.30 in the morning. Here comes the sunrise. Alright, I know that you said the mountains are in the way, but here comes the sunrise. You're, look, you're looking the wrong way for the sunrise. Right? I know. The sun got in the way. I mean, oh wait, the mountain got in the way. No, 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 no. No, no, the mountain. The mountain got in the way. Look at that. I'm short, so I can't see over everyone, but he's going to turn the balloon and rotate it so that we can all see it. Okay. How do you rotate a hot air balloon? He's the pilot. He knows what he's doing. I'm not sure how you rotate. But we're watching the sunrise right now. Are you happy? Yes! You can just ask, are you happy? <laughs> that was George. There's your sunrise. This is our second most awesome sunrise. First one was on Kelly's Island. Yeah. Second one is here in Egypt. Will Would you, you agree? Maybe. Will you marry me? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Bad timing. Bad timing. Wow. What? An amazing view. And you see the Nile stretching straight through and then desert but look at the life joy comes in the morning if you know what I just quoted make sure you put it in the comments do you know what I just quoted I didn't hear what you said joy comes in the morning no I don't know where that's from you will Keep your studies going. You, can you see will. He wants everybody to look at the Valley of the Kings right now. And I can't help but look at the sunrise. There's balloons everywhere. We are high up.
We're at 450 feet up in the air. This is one of the most beautiful scenes I've ever, ever videoed. I don't even know why I started videoing. I think it was just the scrapbook life. This is just incredible. Valley of the King. All the ancient ruins. All the ancient homes, the tombs, the ruins down below. And then the mountainscape that seems to go on forever and pass beyond the mountains. Desert. Oh, he was talking meters. Oh, so I thought, 500 meters. So we should do 1,500, not 15,000. You know math is my weakness. Math is still not your thing. Still not your thing. 15 million. Math may not be her thing, but sunrises are her thing. This is a temple area over here. All of this in here. One of the temples, I think. I think we went there yesterday. Pretty sure. You know, it's hard to figure it all out. But again, here you can see the beauty of the sunrise, and you can see how the Nile brings life to the land. And then, not far, not far at all, all of a sudden, life goes to death into the desert. What would typically happen is yearly the Nile would flood and it would bring silt and the mud and the nourishment for the ground. So farming for the ancient Egyptians was a huge thing. As a matter of fact, you may not know this, but back in the day, the Egyptian farming actually saved a lot of people because Pharaoh had a dream and there was only one person who could interpret the dream and that was Joseph. Mm -hmm. And Joseph interpreted the dream and told him that there would be seven years of, of bounty and then there would be seven years of famine. And that's how Joseph's family actually ended up in Egypt. They came down because they were starving. They came to Egypt. In total amazement. Still scared I'm gonna drop the camera. Got two hands on it. It doesn't feel like it's enough. I think we're at the height of as high as we're gonna go. Look at the sugar cane farms there. That's where we're hoping to land, in the sugar cane. Oh, nice. Look, he, he got a picture of me. Look at that. Look at that. He doesn't even know who he got a picture of. Think one day he'll figure it out? Keep that picture. Famous. <laughs> Famous. Happy. happy. You happy? Happy, happy, happy. Just amazing. Amazing. You can see the wind was good today. Pushing to the west towards the temple. Valley of the King. We got very, very lucky. This is where we took off from, right in this area here. And this is the line of all the taxis for tourism. Wow. 
This is pretty amazing. The other night, or excuse me, the other morning, we were watching all the balloons from the hotel on the bank of the Nile. And now to be up in one. It's incredible. This is probably the best way to see Egypt. Yeah. This is the best way ever to see Egypt. What do you think of the view? Which one? See it in the body? Foos? No, it definitely wasn't me, but we talked about what fear does, didn't we? It wasn't your brand. No. Fear parts are real. There's a lot of people up here. We are up high. Excuse me, everybody know the landing position? Uh oh, now, he's, anyway, okay? he's asking we if we know the, the landing position. position. And this is the most beautiful, beautiful scene of Egypt on the ground. Unfortunately, the country is filled with trash everywhere. I mean, garbage is just everywhere. Oh, yeah. Up here, it's like, it's like fresh snow that covers the ground. You can't see any of the nasty dirtiness. It all looks clean. Wow. Can't get George up on the edge yet. Uh-oh. I think we're gonna crash. With the other balloon. Yeah, I think it's gonna be American. It's gonna be an American landing. We are so close. We are so close. We are so close. No, 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 no. I think we are. We're gonna bump. Watch, 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 watch inside. We are definitely. Yep, we're touching. We're touching. We touched the butt. Touched elbows? We definitely did. It's rubbing right now, I can hear it. We're on each other. I think their weenus has just touched. I think so too. That's the part of your elbow. Brotherly love right there. We definitely just touched. You can see here in this area, this farming area, no sugar cane because no water is being brought from the Nile in here right now. And here, the trucks are ready to actually pick us up as we land. We're coming down for our landing. George and I were really hoping that we would land in a sugar cane field, which is right over there. We, we're not gonna be that lucky. This. The workers are right down here. They're yelling. They're yelling. They're yelling and screaming. The workers are coming out here. Here come the workers. The local police are right here. Local police are right here. That's good, right? But we're having an Egyptian landing. You should do your la 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 la. Oh, he just said it's his first time, right? First time? I think he's just... Military police are right here. They're everywhere. Here we go. Here's the truck. They'll actually load the basket on this truck. And it's getting... Getting to the point in time. Wow, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Where we're actually not allowed to be in the sky anymore. Here come the guys, here come the guys. 
Here comes the landing. <laughs> um, yeah, Egyptian landing. Amen. Oh, we're floating a little bit. We're floating a little bit. Look at that. We're floating a little bit. They're actually taking us. We didn't over. land in a sugar cane. Floor. No, nowhere near. We're in the barren. Some balloons desert. landed right where they started. Yeah, some did. It would have been awesome if we got some actual sugar cane, huh? True in Egyptian form. The local kids are trying to sell us stuff already. So I, I turned the they camera were part on. Of the crew. Yeah, we thought they were part of the crew. <laughs> Look, here he is right here. He's trying to sell. He's trying to sell. He's got them in his pockets. Now you see, if I have the camera on them, they run. Yeah. So that way they don't annoy us. Wait, nope, we got them. So here we go. See, see, no photo. They'll run. That's the way to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. The way to get rid of them is turn the camera on, and then they don't annoy you. <laughs> It's pest control. Right yeah, here. pest control is camera. <laughs> pest control is camera. So let's see what, what happens here. This is no in Arabic. <laughs> Can you do it? So that's a no. That's one of the ways to say no. There's Gabriel. Gabriel is there. There's there's our angel Gabriel. We survived. But we're not done yet, are we? Mm -mm. Baby? Yes. We made it. We you made survived. It alive. We passed out the survey form. He said we can go back to the U.S. Actually, he said I had to stay. Country. He said he I had to stay. to stay. Yeah, he but said, don't jump out of the basket. You can jump out of a plane, but don't jump. Don't out of don't jump out of the basket. <laughs> Are you doing okay? Yeah. I know you. I got out. I got out. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you take a picture of this lovely yep, lady? Yep. There we go. My and happy day, day today. <laughs> smile. Excuse me, do you like to sell hair? How many camel? How much? Oh, you don't have enough camel. You don't. One thousand? You got goats? Yes, I have lots of goats. You don't have Two enough thousand? goats either. I need okay. camel, I need goats, and what else should and I goats. ask for? Pigeons. 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 <laughs> I want pigeons. Lots of pigeons. Excuse me. Did you get nauseous? No, me, not please, at all. Johnny. That was fantastic. Hello, part of you, please.